The Metropolitan Police in the last few moments have released these images of 10 men that they want to speak to in connection with the disruption and the violence that we saw here at Wembley last Sunday. Now, before I go any further, it is just worth saying that the police saying they want to speak to these men, they are not directly accusing them of anything. But they are saying that they want to identify their men, they're asking for the public's health um, help, and they want people who know who they are to come forward because they believe these men have questions that they can answer. Now, we saw pockets of, of disruption all across the country last Sunday, but I think the scenes that we saw here at Wembley were by far the most shocking. Here on Wembley Way, there were tens of thousands of fans packed in. Many of them, of course, had just come to enjoy the atmosphere. They hadn't come to make trouble. But there were people who had came here clearly to make trouble. They'd been drinking since early in the morning, many of them resorting to violence. And then, of course, those unbelievable scenes that we saw of many fans streaming into the stadium who didn't have tickets, breaking down the barriers, breaking past security, getting into the stadium, possibly at the expense of people who did have tickets. Now, in relation to that, the police have said that they have made two arrests. They've arrested two 18-year-old men on suspicion of stealing items which may have helped people get into the stadium without tickets. Now, it's not clear what those items are, but they're police saying that they have reviewed many, many hours of CCTV footage, of body cam footage, and anybody who is responsible for any violence, disruption, they will hold to account. Now, the UK policing football unit have said that in the 24 hours surrounding the final, they arrested 264 people. And of course, as well as the, as well as the scenes that we saw here on Wembley Way and in other areas, there were also the torrent of racist abuse that we saw online. Now, relating to that, police say that they have made five arrests in connection with that, people who allegedly made social media posts. But particularly with the, the security breach at Wembley, there are longer-term implications that this may have because, of course, the UK and Ireland have got that bid for the World Cup in 2030. There are fears that the scenes at Wembley put that in jeopardy, so I think the government, the FA and the police will be very cl clear and want to send the message that the scenes that we saw at Wembley are being dealt with and will not happen again.